Hi, Eric Lenask here. We are at uh, TMC Newsroom on the Road. We're in San Jose, California this week. And I'm talking with uh, Tony Goda. He's the CEO of BitCasa. Tony, thanks for joining me. Glad to have you here. Thanks for having me. So uh, storage. I lo a lot of people talking about cloud, a lot of people talking about uh -huh. storage. Uh -huh. Now we're combining the two. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, obviously, there's this, uh, it's all about a space issue and storage capacity. But mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why cloud? So, so, so cloud is actually, I mean, that's the only way that you can actually never run out of space. So you being a consumer, your, your device itself is act, has, a, has a physical capacity that will sometime, you know, eventually run out of space. So by taking the cloud and integrating it the, into the device itself, now you're decoupling the, the capacity of the device from the device itself. Hmm. But you're still limited in your capacity, right, by what you're able to either pay for or what your cloud storage provider is uh, able to give you? Well, not with Picasa. So with Picasa, we actually give you infinite storage on your device itself. So not, you know, we have no limits. You can upload as much as you want, and it's it's all, you know, just ten dollars a month for infinite storage. How do you how do you make that happen? Infinite storage on a mobile device. So so what Picasa does is that we actually integrate into the device itself, and we fool the device into thinking that Picasa is the actual storage system itself. So as you're saving things to your phone or to your laptop. We're actually streaming it to and from the cloud in real time, completely behind the scenes. So you as a user, it just looks like you have this infinite storage hard drive that's integrated into your device itself, and it just never runs out of space. It's actually that simple. I won't tell the device that you're actually fooling it. <laughs> what happens to uh, uh, when you're offline, when you don't have that access uh, to the cloud environment? So, so that's something that our users ask you know, for. So what we did is that we actually cache all the things that you use on a regular basis on the device itself. So you don't need to have network connectivity to access the things that you access on a regular basis. It's actually a net positive because the things that you access on a regular basis, we remember, we say we'll, we'll keep them local in the cache and then we'll stream everything else in real time. So uh, again, hypothetically speaking, what if you need to access something that you don't access on a regular mm -hmm. basis, you haven't accessed in a while, mm -hmm. uh, but you're on an airplane or, or somewhere where you don't have network access? Go to the folder that you think that you're going to access, right click, say, keep local, and we'll always keep that data local on the device itself. But remember, since we're using the local files, well, the local hard drive is cache, you'll always have at least as much on your hard drive as you had before. So it's always a net positive. It's never, you're never going to have something that you didn't have access to before not be available when you're on a plane. Now, is, is, do you sync between uh, different, different uh, mobile devices for people who have two or three or four different mobile devices? Absolutely. So if you think about you know, really what BitCasa is, is that it's fabric that connects all of your devices together. So it's no longer you have a little bit of storage on your phone, a little bit of storage on your laptop. It's that we integrate the phone and the laptop into this cloud storage system, and when you save, the primary copy is actually saved to the cloud. So there's no synchronization metaphor. It's literally, you make the change and it's in the cloud and it's synchronized automatically to all your devices instantly. What about security? It's encrypted 100% client side. So we as a company don't have access to any of the data for any reason. Not for maintenance purposes, not even in the event that, you know, that some of the acronym police come, come knocking on our door. We'll give them all the encrypted data they want. It, we have no access to it. I get the sense, though, that, that what this uh, might end up ha resulting in is people not cleaning out their file systems. Sure. You end up with multiple copies of, of uh, files. You end up with uh, uh, people not cleaning out their old files, mm -hmm. files that they no longer need. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so we're actually allowing you to, so that's our goal, to make it so that you as a user can always find what you're looking for. So we're, we're also incorporating a management feature. So we have powerful search within the system. So if you wanted to find a video or a, or a picture or, or a document, just type in the, you know, the name and we'll give you the list and you can select it instantly. How do you price? $10 a month for infinite storage. Per user or per device? Per user. So you can install Bitcasa just on every single device that you own and save it all. That's exactly what I want you to do. That's fantastic. So now I can tell people that I've got a, a three terabyte drive on my smartphone. When you actually, on your phone, when you install Bitcasa, it says that you have two terabytes of space available. On your desktop, it says that you have, for Macs, it says you have 562 terabyte, terabytes. But on Windows, it actually says you have eight exabytes. It's going to take us all a long time to fill that up. <laughs> a little bit.
tony, thanks for joining us here at the the tmc roadshow. thanks for having me.